this video, I want to show you how to play the bluegrass tune Old Dangerfield on mandolin. This is a Bill Monroe classic, one of my absolute favorite Bill Monroe tunes. It's such a bluesy uh, tune and really nice to play. And at the same time, it's not always easy to follow this one because there's a lot going on. So it's really good to really nail it down. And this is what I'm gonna show you in this video. And I got my version, actually taught this, uh, learned it first time from Daryl Anger, but I also listened to Matt Flinner, Jacob Jolliffe, their versions of it. And um, yeah, really adapted a mandolin version that I think is really good. And I would say I actually picked the most information from also Sean Lane, great mandolin player. And he got a version where he plays, uh, well, the C part especially, I got from him. But in this video, let's, and yeah, I also wanna say, it's a long fiddle tune, so in this video, we're gonna learn the A and the B part. Here we go. My name is Magnus Sedlund and I help mandolin players just like you get to the next level. If you're new here at the channel, make sure you subscribe. We have videos like this coming out every week. Also hit that bell notification button and you will get notified as soon as we publish a new video. And for an enhanced, simplified, more fun learning experience, check out Mandolin Secrets Academy. You'll find the sheet music, the tabs, the backing tracks, play along tracks, and all for this tune and all the other videos here at the YouTube channel. And also you can connect with me and the hundreds of wonderful mandolin players inside this amazing community. Go check it out, you find it at my website, it's mandolinsecrets.com. Yes, and it's a three part fiddle tune. And as I mentioned, we're going to focus on the A and the B part in this video. However, I want you to listen to the full, like um, the full tune here coming with the A, B and the C part. I'm playing it here with my good friend, the great bluegrass guitarist, uh, Mikael Grund. But here it comes, the whole performance of Old Dangerfield. One, two, three, four. Right, my friend. There you got it in the entire form. I'm now going to play it back here, the A and the B part at a slower tempo. You can see how it's how it's yeah played. After that, I'm going to give you some like little insights about the the scales used for the different parts. But uh, yeah, let's first, let's listen to this at the slow tempo. And then in the end, we will also bring it up the A and the B part in the full tempo solo. But here it comes slow. One, two, three, 
four. You can see how it actually shifts the mode and the mood from the A part to the B part. I find it very cool. And let me show you how this bluesy thing in the A part is. What are what is actually the notes making up this melody? So the melody in the A part, it comes from this bluesy. It's almost like an A minor pentatonic scale but it's played over a major chord it makes it very yeah bluesy sound and i always encourage people to find the scale and the modes for the tunes just as a reference thing so here's how the a minor pentatonic looks starting on the low a here See if you can find that one. Letting you know the fret numbers here. Two, five, open. Two, five, open. Three, five, open. It's a good one to get in your fingers. And then the melody is actually, it's using both like a minor third and a major third. Yeah. And also uh, the note, this is a note also used. even more bluesy so two very characteristic it's the minor third to the major third and it's also this augmented fourth or how you want to put it yeah but it's actually if you're following the tabs playing this melody you will get all these things into your playing and then for the B part it moves more for a, like a major kind of sound. But as I said, it's in the PDF. You can follow along in the, yeah, in the written notation. So as a little exercise, try finding that minor pentatonic and then playing the melody and you can see actually where the notes sort of comes from. Play around with it. Now I'm going to play back the A and the B part and more like, uh, well, up to speed again. We're here at 160 beats per minute. One, two, three, four.
All right, my friend, there you got it. We're saving the C part for the next video since it's such a long tune. Uh, yeah, I think it's better to break them apart. And there's a lot of things going on in the B part as well. But for now, study the A in the B part and uh, I think you will appreciate playing this one. As always, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and I would also be very happy if you would like to leave a comment below letting us know your story with Old Daniel. Have you played this tune? Have you heard it? Uh, well, what is your story? Please let us know and I'm pretty sure it's a tune you're gonna enjoy. All right, my friend, thank you so much for watching. See you in a new video soon. The C part is coming up. Thank you.